Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 8 students. Nandito na tayo ngayon sa inyong week 7 learning task number 1 at igagayad ko kayo dito. Sa nakaraang video ay nai-discuss natin ang slope-intercept form. ba ang slope-intercept form ay y is equal to mx plus b. Wherein yung m dito ba is yung slope niya at saka yung b yun naman yung y-intercept. Ngayon naman, meron tayong mga given na equations tapos kailangan natin siyang i-graph dito sa Cartesian plane. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinalitan ko yung mga given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa modules ninyo. Okay? Diba na ituro ko naman na sa inyo kung paano mag-graph dito sa Cartesian plane. So ngayon, meron tayong given dito na mga equations na naka-slope intercept form. So paano natin to i-graph dito sa Cartesian plane? Una ay kailangan natin ng x and y intercept. Madali lang nating mahanap yung y intercept dito kasi naka-form na siya sa slope intercept. Dito muna tayo sa number 1. So, y is equal to 2x plus 1. ba yung 1 dito, ito yung b or yung tinatawag na y intercept. So, ang y intercept dito is simply, ang ibig sabihin kasi ng y intercept kapag yung x is 0, yung y intercept niya is 1. So, ganyan, 0, 1. Pero, kailangan pa rin natin ng x intercept. Para naman makuha natin yung x-intercept, set y is equal to 0. Yung y naman ang papalitan natin ng 0. So that is 0 is equal to 2x plus 1. Ngayon, ang goal natin is matira lang si x. So i-transpose natin si positive 1 or pwede rin namang itong 2x pero para sa akin ito na lang 1. So magiging negative 1 siya is equal to 2x. Para matira si x dito, i-divide natin both sides by 2. Makakansal ito, ang x natin is equal to negative 1 half. Ibig sabihin, ang x-intercept natin is negative 1 half, 0. Kasi yung y natin is 0, ba? Or pwede rin namang ito ay 0, negative 0 0.5 para madali nating maiplot sa Cartesian plane. So, ang x and y intercept dito sa equation na to is 0, 1 at saka negative 1 half, 0. So, mamaya na muna natin iplot. Ang next na gagawin, isolve naman natin ito. That is 3y equals 6x plus 3. Ang goal natin dito, i-transform muna natin siya sa slope intercept form. Kailangan y lang ang matira dito sa kabila. So, mag-i-divide natin sa 3 lahat. So, magiging y is equal to 6x divided by 3 equals 2x, then 3 divided by 3 equals positive 1. So, naka-slope intercept form na siya, ba? Ibig sabihin, ang y-intercept natin, that is 0, yung b natin dito is positive 1. So, ito yung y-intercept natin. Then, kunin naman natin yung kanyang x-intercept. Para makuha yung x-intercept, let y is equal to 0. So, palitan natin ito ng 0. Magiging 0 equals 2x plus 1. Transpose. Kung ito naman ang itratranspose natin, negative 2, magiging negative 2x is equal to, kopyahin yung 1. Then, kunin natin yung value ng x, i-divide natin both sides by 2 para makancel si negative 2. And then, x lang ang matitira. Then, dito naman, 1 divided by negative 2 equals negative 1 half. So, ang x-intercept natin is negative 1 half, 0. Ito yung y-intercept at ito naman yung x-intercept. Kung mapapansin ninyo, yung x and y-intercept dito sa first equation ay the same sila dito sa second equation. 0, 1, and negative 1 half, 0. 
So, paano natin yan i-graph? Dito muna tayo sa first equation, that is, ang y-intercept natin is 0, 1, di ba? So, 0, tapos positive 1. So, dito yung isang point. And then, ang ating x-intercept naman, negative 0, 0.5, nasaan yun? Nandito, negative 0, 0.5, 0, kalahati ng 0, tsaka 1. So, dito yan. Tapos, i-connect na natin yung line. Pwede kayong gumamit ng ruler. Ayan. So, meron na tayong line. Then, pwede ninyong lagyan ng equation that is y is equal to 2x plus 1. And then, ito naman, yung second equation, di ba? Pareho sila. So, pwede kayong maglagay ng ibang kulay ng ball pen para mailagay ninyo. So, the same sila, iisang line sila. Ibig sabihin, coinciding line sila. Nasa iisang line lang yung dalawang equation na to. Ang tawag dito ay coinciding lines. So, pwede ninyong ilagay yung formula na 3y equals 6x plus 3. Again, ang tawag dito sa lines na to, kapag nasa iisang line lang sila, coinciding lines. Ibig sabihin, pareho sila ng y-intercept at saka x-intercept. Okay? Next, dito naman tayo sa number 2. Dito sa number 2, we have y equals x minus 3 and y equals negative x plus 2. Again, ang kukunin natin is yung x and y intercept. So, ito muna, y is equal to 3x, uh, x minus 3. Diba, naka-slope intercept form na siya. Ibig sabihin, ang kanyang y intercept ay 0 at saka yung ito, negative 3. So, ito na yung y intercept niya. Then, yung kanyang x intercept naman, let y equals 0. So, palitan natin ito ng 0. 0 is equal to x minus 3. I-transpose natin si negative 3 dito sa kabila, magiging positive 3. So, x now is equal to positive 3. Pwede rin namang yung x ang ilipat ninyo. For example, negative x yung nilipat mo, ba is equal to negative 3. Pero, kailangan mo pa kasing gawing positive yung variable nito. Kaya, i-divide mo pa yan ng negative 1. Tapos, makakansal yan. Ang matitira is x. And, negative 3 divided by negative 1 is equal to 3. So, pareho lang din sila ng magiging sagot. Mas madali lang kasi ito kasi positive na yung x dito. Kaya, ito na lang yung nilipat ko. Okay? So, dito sa first equation, meron tayong y-intercept na 0, negative 3 at x-intercept na positive 3, 0. Bakit 0 ulit yung y dito? Kasi nag-let y is equal to 0 tayo. Kaya, ito. Dito naman tayo sa second equation. We have y is equal to negative x plus 2. So, ang y-intercept naman dito is positive 2. So, that is 0, positive 2. Ito yung y-intercept. Ang x-intercept naman, let y equals 0. So, palitan natin ito ng 0. 0 is equal to negative x plus 2. So, ilipat natin yung negative x para mas madali magiging positive x equals positive 2. So, ang x-intercept natin ay positive 2, 0. Okay? Then, pwede na natin itong i-plot sa Cartesian plane. Dito muna tayo sa equation na to. y equals x minus 3. So, ang y-intercept natin is 0, negative 3. So, nasaan yon 0, tapos yung y-coordinate natin is negative 3, kaya nandito siya. And then, we have x-intercept na positive 3. Nasaan dito ang positive 3? Dito. Then, 0, and dito yung 0, kaya dito yung point natin. Alright, then, i-connect na natin yung 2 points. So, magiging line siya. And then, pwede ninyong ilagay yung kanyang equation na y equals x minus 3. And then, yung second equation naman na y is equal to negative x plus 2, ang y-intercept natin is 0, positive 2. So, 0, saan yung positive 2 sa y-axis? Nandito siya. And then, ito naman, positive 2, 0. Positive 2, 0. 
Then, i-connect natin yung points. Ayan. Okay. So, galingan nyo na lang mag-drawing ng line. Ito naman yung ating equation ay y equals negative x plus 2. So, nag-intersect sila, ibig sabihin, ang tawag naman dito ay intersecting lines. Kasi nag-intersect sila sa isang point. Okay? Then, lastly, number 3, we have y equals 2x minus 4 and y equals 2x plus 5. So, kunin muna natin yung first equation, ito, y equals 2x minus 4. So, ang y-intercept natin or yung b is negative 4, ba? So, that is 0, negative 4. Ito yun. And then, ang x-intercept naman, let x, let y equal 0. So, palitan natin ito ng 0 is equal to 2x minus 4. Ilipat natin si negative 4 sa kabila, mag-change ng sign, magiging positive 4 is equal to 2x. Ano ang gagawin natin para matira lang si x dito? I-divide natin both sides by 2. Para makancel ito, ang x na lang ang matitira. Then, 4 divided by 2 is equal to positive 2. So, ang x-intercept natin ay positive 2, 0. Okay? So, tatandaan ninyo ha, kapag y-intercept, ang kinukuha, 0 yung x. At kapag x-intercept naman, 0 yung y. Then, dito naman tayo sa second equation. We have y equals 2x plus 5. So, ang y-intercept naman dito is 0, ito, positive 5. And then, ang x-intercept naman, that is, gawin natin 0 yung y. 0 is equal to 2x plus 5. Transpose natin si positive 5, magiging negative 5 is equal to 2x. Para matanggal si 2 dito, i-divide natin by 2 para makancel yan. Then, ganun din dito sa kabila. So, x now is equal to negative 5 over 2. Ano ba ang katumbas ng negative 5 over 2 sa decimal numbers? So, negative 5 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2.5. So, ang x-intercept natin is... Negative 2.50. Ito yung x-intercept. At ito naman yung y-intercept. Okay? Pwede na rin natin itong i-plot sa Cartesian plane. Unahin natin yung first equation na 2x minus 4. Ang y-intercept natin ay 0, negative 4. So, saan dito ang negative 4? Dito. So, ilagay natin dyan yung point. And then, ang kanyang x-intercept ay positive 2, 0. Positive 2, 0, kaya dito. Pwede na natin i-connect yung points. Yan. So, itong line na to, ito yung equation na y is equal to 2x minus 4. Tapos, next naman, ito naman. 0, positive 5, saan dito? 0, positive 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito dapat. And then, we have negative 2.50. So, nasa kalahati ng negative 2 tsaka negative 3. So, nandito naman yun. And then, connect the two points. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron tayo ditong parallel lines. Y is equal to 2x plus 5. So, ang tawag dito sa dalawang line na to is parallel lines. Kapag yung line ay hindi nag-intersect or never na mag intersect or never na mag-meet, ang tawag ay parallel lines. Alright? Again, kapag ganito yung line ay coinciding line. Kapag ganito naman, intersecting line. Kapag ganito naman, parallel lines. Alright? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please don't forget to like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!